Hi there guys, so the Cursed City, Warhammer Quest. Exciting news, so what we're going to do is I'm going to run through the trailer quickly and stop where I think it's worth putting some information in. Um, if you haven't seen the trailer yet, you can skip right to the end of this video where it will just I'll just leave it to play. Um, what we're going to do is we'll, we'll stop it as we go through it, talk about various things that might be important. We're going to then have a look at the map of the Cursed City and we're going to look, have a look at some of the images that have been revealed and that kind of thing. Okay, so first of all, let's get into the trailer. And sorry, one last thing before we do that. I've set up a Facebook group for this game. So I'll be dropping in all of the news that comes out and as well as unboxings and all that kind of thing. And as well as getting some sort of community spirit about the game going in that group. So there's a link in the description. If you're interested in joining my Facebook group for The Cursed City, please do so. Scary stuff. Lies at the heart of Ulfen Khan. Okay, so Ulfen Khan. So that is the city that this game is set in. So what do we know about Ulfen Khan? Located in the heart of Shaiish, Ulfen Khan can trace its history back to the Age of Myth. A mighty citadel was constructed by three noble dynasties of Azerite descent, and for many generations, the living and the spirits of the land lived together peacefully. The city bred tough people whose strength would be sorely tested during the Age of Chaos. As the Dark Gods poured their hateful legions into reality, the city found itself isolated and was laid waste by Slorn the Revener. The only chance to survive was to agree a pact with a potential saver, a pact that the city would regret forever. Okay, carry on with the trailer. This once great city is now a charnel house. Right, so what is a charnel house? So many of you will know the charnel throne, which is a piece of terrain for Age of, Age of Sigmar, uh, which is basically a big throne of bones and that kind of thing. A charnel house is basically where they would dig new graves and that kind of thing. And this isn't just Age of Sigmar, this is in real life. So where they would dig graves and that kind of thing, they would exhume the bones of the previously buried there and they would store those bones in what's called a charnel house. So any excess bones and that kind of thing, they had to have somewhere to put them, they used to put them in the charnel house. Now we can see from this image, we've got a skeleton there and we've got a couple of, couple of guys there. Now if we look at the legs on the guy that's nearest the front that's clinging to the wall, um, it looks like his leg is kind of bent the wrong way. It's all, you know, it might be a hoof at the end of that as well. So got some interesting stuff going on there as well. The guy behind him, I can't really see much of him. Its people are enslaved, brutalized and harvested. Okay, brutalized, enslaved and harvested. So obviously we're talking about the undead here. We can also see a full moon there, which we'll get back to at the end of the trailer. Their broken bodies raised up to serve the city's cruel master in death. Now we can see from this image here, we can't exactly make out what's going on, but these appear to be zombies, and some of them look like they've got graves or something like that on their back, or some pieces of old fences and that kind of thing. You can also see in the background there's some sort of tower there, so no doubt as we get into the game, we'll be up there battling the undead. We will not allow this desecration to continue. Know this, Wolf. You are not the first monster we have hunted. Okay, so reference there to a wolf. Um, that obviously goes with the full moon that was in the background as well. So we've got wolves in this game as well, it would appear, or at least one. Now that's the trailer itself, so let's have a look at the map. So we can see the Cursed City here, um, the, the map is fairly detailed and it has got some parts that are shadowed out. Uh, either side of the map it has got a few characters on here, there's a bat there, um, but no information really. Now as we tap on where we can see some of these icons, 
We've got the Geist Gale. No one dares to venture near this gate except the spectral dead. Then Alton Sky Docks. The Sky Docks used to be the centre of imports, exports and trade relations. We have got Hangman's Cops. This is the bat infested site of a former Sylvaneth embassy. We have got the Clot. This canal is now clogged by dried gore and is home to many carrion horrors. We've got shadowed crypt halls, haunting music and screams echo from within these vaults. And we've got the corpse gardens. Gorslav the gravekeeper, we'll have a look at a picture of him in a minute, oversees the frightful charnel pits and graveyards. Now also on here, I noticed that if I've held my thumb on the screen, it opened up some text there. Now, I copied and pasted that into notebook, and basically that word just says the embassy. Um, but that is about all there is there. Now, if we scroll back up, we can have a look to see some more information. So we've got the Agents of Defiance. So these are the overlords of Ulfen Khan. Um, we have got an image of Jelson Darrick, who is very, very cool looking. Jelson Darrick is a one-man death squad with a merciless streak a mile wide. He was once part of the Order of Azir, a well-known and fearsome hunter of witches, ether geists, and cultists of the Dark Gods, though his conduct saw him expelled. The exact reason remains a guarded secret. As mean as Darrick, they used to say back in the Order, trust me boy, they don't know the half of it. Morals are for the weak. Now, what we've also what we can also see here. So there's eight heroes in total. This information will probably get updated as we get closer to launch. But we saw from the end of the trailer there was another three of the heroes that were on there. We saw we saw the sort of outline of them. So here's a better look at Jelson Derek. So we can see that obviously he's got a gun, he's got a hammer in his hand as well. Um, he looks well equipped. But yeah, uh, altogether a brilliant model. He's also got that kind of Solomon Kane hat as well. So the other model we've seen as well is Gorslev the Gravekeeper. So we can see he's got his massive spade there. Um, a very, very cool model indeed. We can see it looks like he's pulling up some zombie from the ground or something like that. He's got a hangman's noose around his back. Uh, and he wears skulls and that kind of thing as well. But yeah. Very, very cool indeed. Almost a little bit Lovecraftian. So that's all the information I've got so far. If you've got anything else, please post it in the comments because I'm very, very interested. Uh, it would be great to see some of you over on the Facebook group. If you join up there, then you get to interact with me on another platform as well. I'll be back with all of the news as it comes out for the Cursed City, as well as unboxings and reviews and playthroughs and that kind of thing when the game gets here. I was a massive fan of Blackstone Fortress, really, really good. And the one thing I regret about Blackstone Fortress was not covering it more on the channel, but that won't be the case for the Cursed City. I'm really, really looking forward to this. I think it looks excellent. So if you're interested in seeing that stuff and coming along with me, subscribe and I will see you very, very soon. So thanks for watching, guys. See you later. Lies at the heart of Ulfen Khan. This once great city is now a charnel house. Its people are enslaved, brutalized, and harvested. Their broken bodies raised up to serve the city's cruel master in death. We will not allow this desecration to continue. This wolf. You are not the first monster we have hunted.